All right, so I'm working on this uh, bottom bulkhead assembly, and this is a new part here, and this is a new part here, and this kind of demonstrates what I'm working on currently. I'm putting these holes in it, and this is what I had messed up initially on the other t two parts. I had them together Clico together and I had the location marked on this piece if you can imagine these big holes not here I had the locations marked I had everything Clico together but when I went to drill through here with my step drill you can see that the edge of this piece is right here well when I was drilling the step drill would catch this edge and it, it kept pushing the step drill over this way more and more. So by the time the hole is actually drilled on this piece, it was off to the side and it had moved, I believe it moved up a little bit as well. So it had basically, there's, with, with it being done correctly, you, your, your edge distance here is lousy, but obviously Vans already knows that and they're okay with it. But when, when your hole starts to drift and shift, it, it basically negates any edge distance at all. So the fact that this one had moved way over here, this one had done the same thing because, like I said, the, the uh, step drill was catching this edge here. It was being pushed off center. I didn't like that at all. Um, so I ended up replacing these pieces and redoing them. So now what I'm doing, I'm basically doing each hole individually. So I went ahead and I, I marked everything on this piece. And then I center punched it and I, I drilled it to a number 40. Then I clecoed it together and I transferred that number 40 hole to this plate, which is what you see here. And then I'll take it back apart and I'll take this plate and I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if this will focus this close. But I also had drawn with a marker. I had traced this hole onto this piece. So I, I did that here. And at this point, since I'm working with just basically half a circle, I'm just going to go ahead and file this out by hand. That's what I did on this side here. So I went ahead and... Again, I drilled this, I marked this piece and drilled it with a number 40. Then I clecoed all this back together. And then I transferred that number 40 mark to this plate here, which is what you see here. And now that I've got it marked, I had this one marked as well, obviously, but I went ahead and drilled it already. Now that I have it marked, I'll take everything apart and I have it traced. I'll take everything apart and I'll cut this out by hand on a file. And I'll also do the same thing. Actually, I've already done it. I have to clean this up some, but you can see here 
that the hole also goes through the uh, flange of this piece, this back piece. Let me back up so you can get a little bit of better view. So this existing notch that you see here, that's from when I had done it the last time. And it's close enough that I can I can keep it and, and file it to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this piece. Or I mean I'm going to go ahead and file this piece to my mark. To my, my mark here. And then I'll click it all together. And once I get it all clicked together, I'll go ahead and I'll file, if I have to, I'll file this hole with all three pieces to get it correct, which is basically what I've done on this side. Okay, so that's what I'm working on now. And when I get it all clicked back together, I'll have to figure out how to get it riveted.